Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Champions League Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. In today's video, I'm going to look at my team seeing how have they performed in match day 4, then we move ahead to match day 5. So if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and drop a like on the video as it helps my channel out a lot. So here we go. As you can see, for match day 4, I got 72 points. But luckily I got that because I made no transfers. I actually missed the deadline i did fix up my team obviously going into match day four but i missed the deadline by five minutes so i made no transfers and i really want to make some transfers thinking to remove Bellingham, um you know my uh inter milan player don't freeze uh i've got a goalkeeper here like my soccer goalkeeper didn't even play so i really wanted to make these transfers but i just missed the deadline you know rodri did not play it was the alvarez as well alvarez did not play so <laughs> oh my god it was it was a disaster but somehow somehow i've got 72 points harland obviously as my captain scoring two goals one goal outside the box that gives one um player of the match gives three you know really helped obviously but you know he's highly owned but my other players, like differentials that I put in Martinez in match day uh, three, that scored a goal and got the player of the match, got like really, really helped me. Couple of midfielders got some returns, but other than that, yeah, you know, my week, my game, well, I was going to say game week, match day being saved. So as you can see in the overall ranks, I'm around the 4K mark, so that's not too bad. And looking at the transfer so if i go to like my team if i go to match day five and i go to transfers i still have the wild card i still have the wild card guys so now hear me out i think now that i've got this extra card right i can use it anytime that i want i may use that in match day six because because check this out. So if we go here, right, not leagues, um, where is the um, where is the group? So if we go to groups, right, let's just have a look at this. So I let this load. You can see Bayern are, are pretty much through. So I could remove some of the Bayern Munich players in my team to start bringing other players. But, you know, they, they want to just win all the time, right? I, I doubt that they're going to rest Harry Kane. But in game, like in, in game, in match day six there is a very 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 high chance that they might give other of their players a chance to play but all these other teams here they all got something to play for so i'm looking at Manchester united you know gareth sorry so you know in match day six definitely i am thinking to use the wild card and just get those players that's got something to play for i think that's vital like for arsenal arsenal's got something to play for you know if they win yeah, if they win their next game, they're pretty much, but well, you know, they're pretty much guaranteed to be through. And then they're probably going to rotate, right? And then that's when I can bring in players like Trossard or, you know, players that are, is not playing every single game. Same goes for um, Group C. You know, there's Real Madrid against Napoli. Um, you know, even if it's a draw of Real Madrid wins, they, you know, they're going to try winning this game, right? So they want to try winning the top. So this is an important game. I doubt that there'll be any rotation risk. But in um, match day six, they already won. You know, why would they want to risk it? It doesn't make any sense. They're not even going to go to second. So that's that's some of the stuff that I'm looking at. But there's a lot of teams here that's got something to play for. But as you can see here, like Inter and Real Sociedad, they, they're pretty much through. The, I don't know what's that, six, nine. Yeah, even if they... So do you get what I mean? That's what I'm going to do with a wild card. You can see Group E... They've still got a couple of uh, teams that have got something to play for. Um, group F, Group G. But if we look at Manchester City, right, I've got a lot of Manchester City players and it's time for me to get rid. Um, you know, Barcelona's got something to play for still. You know, there's a couple of uh, like groups here that doesn't have that much to play for. So it's very vital that I look at this. And this is going to determine how my team is going to look like. Now, you're looking at the transfers and looking at my team, we've got three hours, right? So if I just do this, you can see 28. So I've got Alvarez, Haaland. So Alvarez could play this one with Rodri maybe in the bench. So we'll have to check, but it's at home. So they might still play. I just need to see what happens or hear if there's any news. But then you've got Kimmich, you know, you've got, you got Sane. Uh, still an okay game that they need to win, but, you know, 
they're pretty much there, right? But then you got like Inter Milan players. I, I really do want to switch them around and go for a player a teams that's got something to play for. So um, there's, I'm going to be doing a big kind of mass. Um, kind of change. I don't know if I want to use my wild card now, but I do want to kind of fix up some of the players like maybe my goalkeeper. Um, you know, if I hear the Haaland's out, you know, it might be have a rest because, you know, they're already kind of through. I might get like Mbappe as an example. I mean, how many, what's, uh, I'm just going to have a quick look at something here, uh, which teams I should go for. It's, it's very important that we do this because this would give us a chance to kind of attack it. So Bayern Munich is pretty much through. So we need to start rotating slowly. Arsenal still got a chance to play with their best players. Uh, Real Madrid and Napoli, that's a big game. Uh, Inter Milan and Real, yeah, they might need to remove some of those. There's a lot of teams, so let's go, you know, Lazio is a, is, a, is a team that I'm looking at because, you know, against Celtic, they really need to get the points and they're probably going to go all out. So I might go for like a Lazio player. Um, yeah, look, PSG still got something to play. All of these teams got something to play for. So this is where I'm looking at where I'm going to try and transfer in some players. So um, let's just have a quick look on who. It's, it's just very difficult to say who's going to play. So, but I'm going to, let's just say maybe, maybe Martinez. And I'm looking at Lazio. So um, Immobile, thinking like something like this. Um, could even captain him against Celtic. Um, Rodri is probably going to be on the bench. Hopefully, we'll see what happens to Jewel Belly and if he plays. Uh, there's a goalkeeper that I'm going to definitely remove. So I need to I need to think about a goalkeeper on what goalkeeper I might want to go for because we're still gonna, you know, we've got to get the old, you know, unlimited transfer. So I don't know, you know, this is very very difficult. Maybe. No, yeah, it's a lot of money, uh, but I still got some money left, and um, yeah, probably see if there's any other injuries. But Manchester City players is going to be quite risky this game week, so we will see. So something like this that I'm looking at. Um, if if Haaland is out, then is it, I might just remove him and get uh, Lewandowski back into the team, and let's have a quick look. Then I probably will go for Immobile actually as a captain and then go, yeah, get Lewandowski there. And then who's going to be my second captain? That's the problem. So that might not be the best choice. Uh, what's Mbappe? Mbappe's 28 as well. Mm, there's a lot of strikers that I want. Interesting. I just don't want to use the wild card yet. There, there's a chance that I can, I, can, I can use it. It might help out for this match day. But I think, you know, if I hold this and I manage to survive this, if I do well, I got free transfers now, so I could I could make a good amount of transfers. So we'll see, guys. I'd need to do a little bit of research, but that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm feeling. And around the four K mark, if I do well, if I can maintain it, then there's a good chance that I can finish in the top five thousand. You know, even top one thousand if I do well here. And with the wild card, I can go for big differentials because I'm expecting a lot of um, players like you know. Uh, Kane be rested and stuff like that because why would they want to play a game where you know they can utilize them in another 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 game that is important than a game that is a throwaway? Anyways, that is about it, guys. That's what I'm thinking. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.